<laughs> <What's> that? <laughs> that was the horse. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> it sounds. Okay. Oh man. Um. <laughs> what do we do next? Town soup kitchen. I guess we can go and uh wait. Is the biscuit the um Don't take any of the strangers and don't need don't need your kind here? You say need or need. Well anyway. Keep actually walking into this guy. It's a trading post. <laughs> Let's go to the baker boys. It's funny because breading and baking and breading, is that a word? These teenagers seem dispirited, are trying to drown their sorrows in big mugs of water. Maybe they misunderstood the idiom. Hey, you boys wouldn't m know about some bread that went missing, would you? Aw, oh, nuts. I told you we'd be in trouble, Billy. Chip, Jerry. Why you just la blab about everything, dude? Come down to you two. The mayor just wants his bread back. Hand it over, and the trouble you're in will be minimal. Ain't that simple, mister? We sold that bread for meat. Start this bakery. Why? Because we wanted to make something of our lives. Everyone wanted bread, but it's just bums. Plus, it's like everyone needs bread, right? So we figured we'd make it big. Okay, well, no problem. Except for the, yeah, no problem, except for the fact that we don't know a dang thing about making bread, as it turns out. All we end up with is just weird lumps. That ain't true, Billy. Last loaf we tried was almost right. Yeah, sure. That one was nearly edible. Or practically have ingredients. Maybe I can help. Oh. No place you can get more grain. They have so much, they'll never notice you boys take some on the quiet. Yeah, it sounds like a good deal. We wouldn't need that much. Just enough to figure out the recipe out and start making enough meat up by our own. By your map. After a couple tries, the boy hit a decent bread recipe and bake enough to cover they stole from the mayor. 40 loaves of bread. Nice. Thanks for, get a start. Thanks for helping us get our bakery started, mister. We're gonna be famous for you know it. Don't mention it. I guess that's all we can do. Nice. That's cool. We helped him out. You encountered a goblin chef out harvesting produce, by which I mean knocking lumps off of a cactus. And me, it gives you some real side eye when it sees you. Hey, you a human. Keeping away from these lumps that are mine. Or maybe I am cooking you instead. What? You goblins don't keep old to eating, do you? Ah, no gross. Did that to scare you away? Did you scared? Geez, a little, yeah. Nice. Alright. You gotta go to <laughs> Ghostwood. Nice. Oh, huh, all these buildings. In this town are a little weird, really hazy and translucent like, oh, ghosts, it's a literal ghost town. You expect to be able to just walk in straight to the door of a ghost bowling? Some kind of force is preventing you. Guess you can knock on the force. Your fist makes a distant echoey clap down on the bar room door. A ghostly voice comes out of nowhere. Howdy there, fella, new to town? Yeah, I was wondering if, sorry, I can't do business with you until you have a visitor identification card. Are you supposed to even it's supposed to even talk to you, really. Oh, where do I get one? By the town hall, into the street. All right, town hall. A ghost dropped. This looks like uh, 
be the ghost of the town hall. It seems like a regular town hall, except, you know, the whole ghost thing. Ah, visitor. You'll be needing a visitor identification card. I guess so. I'd be happy to help fill in the forms. Most living people have trouble holding the pages. You'll be needing a number three pencil. If you're filling the form, can't you just pass me your own pencil? Well, I'll be... But the instructions say very clearly the applicant must have a number three pencil. Okay. At the Department of Requisitions next door. Main journal store? A little more specific these days, but yes. Okay. I uh, can't help you unless you have a visitor ID. I need a pencil for no visitor ID, no supplies. Uh, okay. Hello, general store. Won't we give you a pencil without a visitor ID? No, certainly not. They aren't authorized to deal with anyone who doesn't have ideas. So how am I supposed to get a number three pencil? I suppose I can issue a temporary visitor permit. You don't need a pencil for that one. Okay, great. What is your last name? Arston. Uh, varying. Middle name. Danger. Little farm outside Boring, boring Springs. Everett, what's it like? Boring, just like it says on the label. That's nice. All right, how many are, how many bars are in the window of the adjunct Department of Records? What? It's a quiz to make sure you're actually paying attention to and care about a little talent instead of just breezing through to show your dedication. Um. Oh my goodness, I'm right. Thank goodness. Fires in 11 seconds. Oh. Hey, pencil. Uh, Mar- Um, Marston. Oh, come on. What's your last name? Marston. I'm hearing danger. Boring Springs. Home. Six. Go. Marston. Wait, what? That's not, that was not 11 seconds. There's no way. <laughs> that's why oh that was, that was not 11 seconds by the way we should we surely could have done that nobody's home excuse me but have you never heard of you a regular cactus while well, the ghost of a regular cactus while well, the ghost of a regular cactus the ghost pencil stabbed into it take the pencil I just take the pencil with the corner temporary visitor permit and you have the cactus nice number four pencil of course well can I sharpen it a sharpened ghost pencil <laughs> right, number three pencil. Here it is. That's number four pencil. No, it's seventy-five percent of a four pencil. I see. Hmm. I don't know anything about this and the bylaws very well. I suppose it'll do. Let me get sort out the identification permit. Nice. Uh. It was six last time. I didn't ask the same question last time. What? What do you mean? How many bars are in the windows?
this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my gosh. Okay. And right, all right. Everything seems to be in order. Allow me to visit the rest of the ghost town or ghost wood. Here's your visitor ID. Say thank you. Say was always called ghost wood or what? Nope. Oh, yes. Totally coincidence. Goodness. Howdy. What can I do for you, Miss Russian? I'm on the ear on behalf of the mayor of Redwood. He needs a permit. Like a job for the department of administration that's the building all the way down to the other end of the street need a drink here all right just gotta take your name down for the requisition slip <laughs> oh my goodness that's your visit to energy at this fine it'll be 103 meat including deposit oh my gosh this town he's uh finally i'm here on behalf of the mayor of Bridwood. he needs a permit to do some logging in this area i see well that shouldn't be a problem i just need to review the logging records to make sure there is no disqualifying incidents go to the department of records just two doors down and tell them i need the redwood file pertaining to logging Anything wrong I am just stealing, see, stealing myself in anticipation. Get the jailhouse full of papers. Mr. Morrison, was it? What can I do for you? I suppose I'm supposed to pick up a file on the town of Redwood. Oh, well, you want the Department of Records? That's next door. This is the adjunct Department of Records? Uh, Department of Records, how can I help you, Mr. Marston? A specific file in the town of Breadwood. One please, Breadwood, Applewood, Antiwood, Badwood. Did you mean Bagelwood? No, it's Breadwood. Must be a suburb. Beaverwood, Bestwood, Bitterwood, Bloodwood. Ah, uh, here we are, Breadwood. What section do you need? Logging records. Hmm. The section has been downgraded from disuse. Don't need to pick it up from the adjunct department right next door. Actually, bring it back here when you've got it. I'll put an official inter department document transfer folder for you. Is this really necessary? Absolutely, you can transfer documents to departments without inter department transfer folder. Unthinkable. Oh my goodness. Our department records sent me over here to pick up a file. Logging reports from town of Breadwood. One second. Ah, uh, here we are, but wrong. All, it, all these pages are loose. I can't give them to you like this. What if they blow away? I'll just take them next door and they get the documents in the folder. will be fine. No, no. But if there's a freak gust of wind, as soon as you leave here, it'd be chaos. Do so you propose? Well, fortunately, I happen to be one person in town officially authorized to use a stapler. I'll stay in the, so you'll staple them together for me. I'm glad to, but I don't have a stapler. Of course you don't. All right, all you need is the Department of Requisitions next door to the requisition one. Bring you a step, staple and give you the file. Yep. Uh. All right, yep, it's a, a cake or pie. Excuse me, your dessert preference, cake or pie. Cake, sure. Uh, well, despite that, everything seems to be in order. Fast stapler. Okay, good shrink. Here you go. Freshly stapled and wind resistant. Back with those papers. All right. Let me just put down the official interdepartment document transfer for for you. And here they are. Okay. Got the file from you. Uh, the brave would like. Logging records? Fine, let's have a look. Oh, for the love, what's wrong? 
He did staple the pages together right in the middle. This is why we don't we took the damn stapler away from him away in the first place. The file's unreadable. You're gonna have to take it back and tell him to unstaple it. Administration wants you to unstable these papers. Oh, sorry. I'm only authorized for stapling, not unstapling. Try the Department of Records, of course. I need some unstapled. Okay, I'm finally fully authorized. <laughs> I'm a fully unauthorized, authorized unstapler. So what's the problem? Uh, spoke too soon, did you? Well, it's just that. I don't see the staple remover anywhere. Oh, that's right. The Department of Liberation. Innovations borrowed it from beer bottles. <sighs> Get the staple remover. Sure do. As long as you remove staples, I'll be happy. Actually, it does, but I'm afraid I'm not authorized for unstapling. I'll have to take it back to the records. Here's your staple remover. Great. Let's just have a look at this paper. Now, Tistis, Edric Records, with his old tricks again. These don't even need to be stapled. That's what the interdepartment document transfer is for all. All right, here we go. Okay, this is tedious. All right, unstable. So, mm, okay, I can't see any problem with this. I'm frankly amazed. Let's get started on the paperwork for the logging permit. I'm no longer amazed. You just stamp here, sign here, I'll sign here. Also here. Initial here and here, here. Now just take this back to the mayor of Braidwood and have him sign the line and initial over here. Hit me? I don't know how to do that. Alright. That was fun, I guess. <laughs> some papers that you need to sign for that logging permit oh right oh, a ghost paper this stuff is weird yeah i think i need a ghost pencil for this on your pencil you can borrow mine uh sign here initial here after fumbling with the ghostly pencil the mayor eventually managed to sign the initial form all right mayor i'll be back with that permit god willing i forgot we actually don't have to go outside for treason <laughs> There's actually a lot of locations here. Okay, I've got the mayor's signature on the logging permit. Great, just sign the last sign at the bottom where it says receipt. Something wrong? I loaned the pencil to my mayor to the mayor. Oh dear. He's about to go kill everything. Wait, I could get a pencil here though. Okay, for whatever reason we can't buy. Pressed rancher candy. <laughs> Still my ghost pencil, I need that. Oh, Trevor, sorry. It's a haunting my beard. Ah, here you go. Yeah, this has been quite tedious. Not exactly fun, but... Goblin stand on one side of the trail, just stared up at the sky. They don't even seem to notice you approaching, or hello. Oh, hi, hi. What are you two doing? A moon I am looking at. See the moon is out right now? Nothing being up there. I'm happy to waiting. Okay. We have important business. Or 
right if they take care of redwood's logging permit is hereby approved finally wonderful costing will say about 48 hours what well, everything has to be filed the actual permit has to be printed and so on pick up in two days okay Ah, ah, what the heck? A ranting, failing man that just bursts out of the woods and is rang straight for you. Wearing some strange stone shaped metal hat, which bristles with wires and odd protrusions that crackle immediately with bright blue sparks. Ah, uh, recommend taking off the hat. Spiders, whatever you're freaking about, they're on your head, inside my head. No on top, just take the hat off. And Scrambles frantically with the metal hat and a bright blue flash munch tape blinds you. Vision clears, the man is lying still with his eyes full in the back of his head. Alright, well, take his helmet. I forgot how we rest. IOU piano, nice. I'm not sure what. Let's go all the way to dirt water and rest for two days. I don't care if we're gonna do it anyway. Happen <laughs> uh. Across the band and gray, which apparently fell off a wagon. I don't care, we're gonna sleep upstairs for two days. Just so I can get. Did you have a first good week? <laughs> Discover a new ma a new area. There's a lot of places here. Is the permit ready yet? Ah, uh, yes, here you are. Yeah, we don't sign anything. Perfect. Electric snake skin. I like recovering the yeast from the old bands up in the old brewery. Not yet. You get our bread back from the miserable Baker Boys. I sure did. Miss Payo would have caused a riot for sure. How we avoid that? Be able to find the Miss Sniper book. Not yet. Flying bird. Yes, finally. Definitely going to improve the situation around here. Thank you. Let's see, Nerd. Ner Never see another form again. Bring back the soup. I'll have his. Uh, wait, I need all five bowls filled. Missing mail. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, so many things. 